Jeff Blankman talking right now with Joseph Thede from the Peyton Chernan Rockets over here at the uh, track meet in Jefferson. And, uh, Joke, two of your events in the books today. You started off with the 4x8 and just finished up the mile here a couple of moments ago. Let's uh, jump back to the 4x8. Uh, how'd you feel coming into that today, and who were the guys that ran with you? I felt pretty nervous since it's the first meet of the season. But, you know, we've been practicing a lot, and I felt that we could do pretty pretty good. And I started it, and I handed off to Eric Thompson, who is a freshman. He ended up, handed off to Clay Smith, who is another freshman, and he handed off to Isaac Ireland, who is a sophomore. So a lot of young guys running with you, you being a senior. Uh, what kind of advice do you give to these young guys? I just I tell them what I've been told and what I've gone through. Just tell them to keep up the good work, finish hard, keep up with the practice that they've been having, and they've been working really hard in practice. We all have, and I was confident in their abilities, and I knew that we'd do pretty good, and we ended up getting fourth place. That's a good run. How did you feel during your 4 by 8 Did you feel better in the first or second lap? I felt better in the first lap because the adrenaline was pumping real good, and I just... It felt amazing. The second lap, my muscles started tightening up. Everything started getting hard, so I just I had to push through it, just like any other race. I ended up not doing half bad. For my split, I got a 227, which is pretty impressive for myself. What was your best coming into tonight? Do you know? I believe it was a 232. Not for sure, but it was, that sounds about right. So I'm hoping to improve it. I'm wishing for a 218, but realistically, I'm hoping for a 220. That'd be real nice. What do you think was the difference for you tonight than going out and setting a personal best here in that first leg of the race tonight? Just the fact that I am the lone male senior alongside with my female senior, Carly Pop, and I know I got to set a good example for those guys. And if I had let those guys down, I know they wouldn't have put up as much effort as they did. So. I just had to show them that I was willing to put the effort in as much as they were. You ran the mile here a moment ago. Yes, sir. Uh, how did you feel getting out of the start there? Did you feel like you got a clean start? I felt good about my start, and around at the end of it, I was just thought that I could have done a little bit better in the second and third lap, but, you know, that's just something to work on for next meet. That's why we have this early bird meet is to find the flaws and fix them. And I'm just excited for the next meet to see how well I do. What do you think adjustments you'll make in the, in the mile, uh, maybe in the next meet compared to how you ran it tonight? I'm hoping to keep up the pace for my first lap in the second and third lap and work on my stamina so I can keep it up through the whole mile and then work on my finishes so I can sprint through that last two, even 300 meters so I can get a really nice finish and just have a nice mile run. You said, told coach afterwards that you kind of tightened up in the side there uh, with about 300 left. How did you fight through that tonight? I just I knew that the effort I had to put through it was harder than the pain that I was going through, so I just had to keep on pushing because I had a younger track member in front of me, and I just had to push through. So he would push himself, and he ended up beating me, so it's always nice when you have good competition and they, you can push each other. Well, I tell you what, Joe, appreciate you joining us here tonight. Congratulations on the effort you put out in both of your events so far tonight. Thank you.